welcome to the Navs Effect on Playback. I am joined by Zayn Mahmoud, incoming USD Growling Tigers rookie. Hello to those watching the stream right now. Thanks for tuning in, Zayn. Uh, we'll be joined by Alex Konov shortly. Alex Konov arrived in the Philippines Tuesday night and is already getting a first-hand experience of what it's like dealing with the Manila weather and the Manila traffic. All right, we got a question already. Zane, how was the game versus Canada Christian earlier? Did you guys play against a team earlier? Yeah, we played against um, this Canada team. They're, they're mis they were on a mission trip. It went really well. I had a solid performance, got a lot of minutes, scored about 16 points, good amount of rebounds. Getting everybody involved. The guys look good. Emil looked good. Hit some shots. Uh, Jeremy Robinson getting downhill, finding guys. You know, just a good game for us. Good feel good game. That's amazing. Glad to hear you're fitting in, Zane. I'm guessing your transition to the USD Growling Tigers has gone smoothly. Is it okay to assume that? Um, yeah, absolutely. I love the guys. The guys are really cool. And um, overall, I would say that first week and a half, two weeks was definitely um, the toughest part. But um, now that it's into the latter three, third week, fourth week, and so on, I'm starting to feel a lot more confident, a lot more better. I'm finding my spots. You know, I'm really competing in practice now. So I think that um, it's been going smooth, yeah. Awesome. Happy to hear it. Hello to all the viewers tuning in. By the way, if you guys want to ask Zane a question or Alex when he arrives shortly, you can do so by coming on the stage or by asking your question in the comments section. We got a question here from Luxury. Thoughts on SJ Moore transferring to the NCAA? Zane, were you surprised that your former teammate left USD? Well, I just met him, you know, but we, we spent a trip to, um, we had a trip in Ormoc together, got to know him, and um, I'm just hoping the best for him and however he, um, decides to go on from here you know he will be missed he was a fun guy uh we got a little viral tiktok but um not, not crazy but uh he's he's gonna be good i know that and uh i just hope he stays in touch you know get to see him around a lot Awesome, for sure. Now, there's a question with UST right now in terms of which FSA you guys might use for UAAP Season 87, uh, Tonkara or Peter Osang. So what's the situation there right now? Is there an FSA that's been playing with you guys in the starting unit more? Has that been decided? Well, lately, uh, we haven't had too many games. And um, I know between Mo and Peter, when we have an opportunity, they kind of alternate them like we did at Ormo. But... Um, I just, like, those guys are battling it out every day, really, like, working hard. And uh, Mo's gotten, a, like, a lot better, which is why it's a question now. You know, he's been killing the game. And then Peter Osong is Peter Osong. You know, he gets to the rim. He'll dunk on somebody, you know, a lot of energy. So regardless of who we end up with, I think that we'll be successful. It's just that it is still up in the air for sure, and they're going to keep battling. Couldn't go wrong with choosing between those guys, says Denzil. What's the difference of having each guy on the court, Zane? You know, how is the offense and the def the defense different when um, Mo is in there compared to when Peter is in there? Especially for you, because there's a good chance you're going to be in the front line with whoever the FSA is going to be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, you know, I'm so new, but uh, I've gotten burned with both of them in practice and in games. And uh, um you know, I, I feel like it's a it's a tough read. It's just um, Peter is very uh, he's very athletic. He likes to go one move and go. And then while Mo is very skilled, poised, and patient, and uh, he's a he's a force. So I feel like with our with our offense and um, how things have been changing up because we're still trying new things. Um, you know, like it just could keep going and go either way. Got you, got you. And I want to say hello to all the viewers right now. There's a question here from Denzil Zane. How's Coach Pido's coaching system so far? What aspect of his coaching do you like and dislike? As I say hello to JP Manahan now joining the stream. So go ahead, Zane. So, um, you know, Coach Pido, uh, he's really cool. It's, it's really cool, like, being his player because, like, as much as, like, you know, the media sees, like, the serious and the, and like the stern coach, you know, being behind closed doors, you see he's really just like a, he's a good guy. He's, he cares for his players. He wants us to like just fight for each other. And um, with our system, we're still trying out a lot of things. But I feel like one thing I like about it is that it's very inclusive of everybody. A lot of, a lot of people get reads and different touches and different looks. And I think that we have a situational play for anything, especially considering our versatility and depth. I think that. As much as Pido's, Coach Pido's system is um, is solid, I also think that with the talent and depth that 
as players, there will be openings where we can figure out and decide and know what to do. And that's what they're giving us a lot of leeway to um, to make our reads. And um, they trust us, so we got to keep their trust. Fantastic. Hello to all 29 viewers. And by the way, UST going to be a Final Four contender this season with Kyle Parandada, Ice Dan Ting, Nick Cabanero, Forsky Padriga, of course, Zayn Mahmood, and whoever the FSA will be. Let's get to um, JMGD. In the comment section, says there's a few more FSAs doing residency for USD, so some talents still being developed behind the scenes. Tonyo wants to ask Zane, what are your thoughts on potentially bringing back the glory days of USD? There's a lot of buzz among the fans that USD might finally get back to the final for this season. Is it final four or bust for you guys? And by the way, for those who are curious where Alex Konov is, he's stuck in traffic right now. He'll be hopefully he's here shortly, but go ahead, Zane. In terms of like the players and like us feeling like it's, it's um, final four or bust, I don't think any of us have been thinking like that. We're in a more day to day mindset, get better every day right now because as the UAP season approaches, we just gotta like keep gelling and getting close together and just practicing and get build oh yeah, and building chemistry so that um, hopefully we can get back to the final four and just see some success and some winning and convince the fans to get back out there and just. Just have a good year. Awesome. Thanks for that, Zane. All right. Yep. I believe Alex Konov might be here shortly. The Manila traffic introduction for Alex was something that he was telling us about today, along with the heat. Oh, hey, Alex. How are you doing, bro? Yeah. I'm good, man. How's the Manila weather treating you so far? Uh, it's pretty hot. I mean, I got jeans on. It probably wasn't a good decision. but. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Okay, let's get to some of the questions here. And by the way, for those who want to know Alex Konov more, send your questions in the stream right now. We got a question here from Zoen, a good friend of mine. Enzo, Enzo Rubio. Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for joining the stream, bro. Yo, Zane, Philippine basketball is said to be a little more physical and aggressive. How are you liking it so far? Do you feel like you still need to adjust? I feel like I'm a very physical player, so getting really like into the nitty gritty and just bumping and bumping all game. I feel like that's something I've gotten used to, but uh, it's still a challenging thing to do. And um, I feel like it's still going to take me a bit to really find my place and how to use my strength and aggression in the, in, in the UAP. But um, you know, I like it. Like I'm not backing down from it or anything like that. It's good. Awesome. Awesome. And we have more questions here, but I want to ask Alex something. Alex, did by any chance you get to see, the news about Polycarpia joining the PBA draft, that opens up more minutes for you, huh? Yeah, I mean, earlier at practice, uh, Coach Topex told us that. So I was, uh, I was surprised, but, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll, he'll go first round. So he's pretty good. So good luck to him. So today was your first practice with DLSU. Yeah, I uh, arrived like 1 a.m. this morning. Yeah. Man, and... And uh, how's your practice? Did the guys uh, kind of run you off the floor because you're not yet in Philippine basketball game shape, or did you fit in right away? Uh, it was actually a light practice, so we just we just got a bunch of shots up, and it was pretty slow, pretty pretty light today. It was it was good. So. Awesome, awesome. Good question here from JP Manahan. Was Polycarpia there in practice to say it to the te your his teammates directly that he'd be joining the PBA draft? No, no, he wasn't there. I think he was busy, but um, Topex told us. Awesome, awesome. All, <laughs> did Cake you attend the trick? Then Jill, you know he's abroad for Gilas, man. Why are you doing this, bro? But I, I get what you're trying to do there. All right, see if I missed any more questions here. This is for Zane from Tonyo. Tonyo wants to know, Zane, are you ready to get goosebumps during those go Ostet chants when you guys have big timeouts or big runs during the games? Have you heard that chant? That's yeah. that's probably the most popular yeah, chant you know in the UAP. You know what? That's actually that's actually funny because I had a um, after our first after our podcast where you told me I have to learn it. You know, I searched it up and I said, uh, "Let me see what this is about." And I literally got goosebumps just watching it. So I don't even know how I'm gonna feel in the game. Like you know, it's probably gonna be a surreal feeling, once in a lifetime feeling. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, awesome. I'm sure the USD fans are looking forward to seeing you in action as well. Okay, uh, question here from JMGD. Alex, why did you not join Zayn in UST, considering how tight the both of you are? I hate him. Yeah, no, I don't know why. <laughs> no, why didn't you? But um, it was up there for sure. And then, you know, I, I thought 
uh, LaSalle fit me best, but I mean, it was, it was a pretty hard decision. Um, I feel like I definitely could fit in at some of the other schools that were also recruiting me, but you know, I just, I hope it goes well. All right, we got a question here from Fran Lu. Zane, who are the players that welcomed you in your first practice by being physical in you? Pause, Fran Lu. Physical in you? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Man, Fran Lu. All right, no, but I think what Fran means, Zane, is who was the most physical guy against you in practice? <laughs> you know what? Peter Osong gave me a lot. Like, I rock because there was a loose ball in our practice, and I remember I dove on the floor for the ball. You know, I want to show Coach Pido, like, I'm willing to give it up, you know? And then Peter jumps on me, and I almost popped my shoulder out of my socks. I said, Peter, why did you do that? Right. Um, he's not, it's not like he's a strong, big body type of physical, but oh, wait, you know what? You know what? I got a better story. So back mm. in March, I practiced with the team. I'm I'm coming off a off a handoff, big boy Echo Lowry just oh. shoulder check, shoulder <laughs> check me off the ball. They called a foul, but I was like, dang, he got me. That was probably the the most physical thing that happened. Man, I mean, as long as he didn't get physical in you, as our guy friend said in the comment section, <laughs> that's a little oh. bit. <laughs> Pause, pause. No, no. Okay, um, this is for Zane too from JMGD. Zane, who is your favorite point guard in UST? Who's my favorite point guard in UST? You're gonna you guys are gonna make me do this. I'm not yeah. doing that. Well. I love all my point guards. Good. Uh, we have the very talented fourth ski Patrick Gal, as we all know. Mythical five, standout all his years. And then we have the Kyle Perinata. I love the Kyle Perinata. That's like big bro. That's my big brother. And I you know, he's um He's solid. I don't know where, where I was going with that. But they're both – all our point guards are very good, so I can't pick a favorite. Awesome. Awesome answer. Great answer. That's true, too. I mean, you guys have a solid team. You guys can make the final four for sure. Good question here from Luxurate. Alex, what are your expectations for the upcoming World University Tournament that DLSU will be a part of come Ooh. August? I'm going to be so honest with you. I, like, I just found out about that like the other day. I got <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> but I just is that that's the one in Japan. Yeah, that's the one in Japan. You know, I hope we do good. Uh, I hope I get to play, and I hope we, uh, you know, I get to get used to the system. But that's pretty much all I can. That's awesome. Well, thanks for telling us, Alex. And by the way, I want to thank both of you because this is the most simultaneous visitors we've had at the same time. I think both of you being together had something to do with it. So mad love to the both of you. And those who are watching the stream right now but haven't subscribed to the channel, the station yet, please do so because I'm going to start having giveaways on these episodes, shirts, apparel, and whatnot. Some cool stuff coming. Uh, like it. Uh, I, I got, I got, um, I think Alex and Zane are gonna potentially have some apparel breaking news soon. I'm gonna keep that on the down low for now, but things are being worked on, of course. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna tease it a little bit. All right, good question here from Dwayne. Alex, who did you vibe with the most from your first practice earlier? Uh, probably Mike Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. How so? So, He's actually just like not very serious like at all. I didn't realize that until I met him. So I'm also Bulgarian, and I guess you know he he found that out, and he told me that he was gonna learn Bulgarian and just like start saying some random stuff to me. And <laughs> I, was, I was like, all right, whatever. But that's pretty much it. So do you know some Bulgarian words, Alex? Could you tell us something in Bulgarian right now? Yeah, um, he asked me how to say um, hi, how are you, and that's uh, Zdravej Kaksi. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? During a post-game media conference in the UAP, I want you to answer all questions in Bulgarian at some point this <laughs> season. I just like fucker. Oh, the, am I allowed to curse since you guys are still in college? I I don't. Yes, sir. No, all right. Like 14 years old. I can't say that. That is true. That is true. All right. You know, I love it. We've got so many good questions here. Okay, I'm going to pick one here. Um, oh, this is good from Jaden. Alex, what were you what was your reaction to Mason Amos moving to DLSU considering you to play a similar style of play? You know, aside from all the uh backlash he's getting, you know, I'm, I'm not, I won't go into that, but uh, you know, I'm excited. Uh, I talked to him a little bit. Yeah, he seems like a good dude. So, you know, just uh 
I, I, I like it personally just because the practices and, you know, it's just going to get more competitive. So. Yeah. I don't think people realize that that was your biggest reason for committing to LaSalle, right? You wanted, like, insanely competitive practices. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to, to go to a place where, you know, I, I would have to be challenged a little bit. Like, I wouldn't just, like, start from the beginning or, you know, anything like that, so... Awesome. Awesome. All right. We got a good question here from Denzil for the both of you. For both Zane and Alex, which university are you most interested in playing against and why? Is it against each other? No, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to give out to Neo the work. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You got to tell me the backstory to this. Is it because they didn't recruit you? They didn't recruit me as hard as they should have. But you know what? Blessing and a mistake by them. All right. I love it. I love it. Great answer, Zane. Uh, Alex, how about you? Which school are you most excited to play against? I might have to go with uh, the same the same answer, Ateneo, just because, you know, people people are saying that's probably, like, really, like one of the big rivalries here. And, uh, you know, it should should only get a little crazier now that we have uh, Mason. So. For sure. I mean, are you? I'm sure you guys are going to have Mason's back, right? For sure? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. All right. Let's see if I miss any question here. Hello to Basket BPH. Thanks for joining us tonight. Zane and Alex, were you given nicknames or monikers already? Ron wants to know. Do you guys have nicknames already? Not really. I've just got AK. <laughs> Is that like, heard, um, like Andre Kir- Kirilenko, right? Have you been compared to him in your life? Play style, no, but I mean, like just the name. And then, I mean, my practice jersey is also number 47, so I guess that's kind of cool, but... That's that's it. Awesome, awesome. AK forty seven in the house. All right, I'm gonna ask you both a question now, and I want you guys to answer. Zane, can Alex guard you? Alex, can Zane guard you? No, no, <laughs> no. Okay, look, look. okay. No. Let's show some highlights in this uh, in this video right now. Um, look, count three pointers. Count the three pointers. <laughs> Low bag. I'm sitting. I'm closing out. Hard close out. Jumping. Right there. Blocked. Okay. You know, since I got you guys both on stream here, do you guys want to throw a little bet down for the first UST LaSalle matchup this season? Uh, LaSalle 100, UST 51. <laughs> That's an egregious take. That's crazy. No one can just said that. No 49 ball on it. We can put 1K on it. <laughs> we can do 1k pesos yeah, okay so 1k pesos on the line zane says wait wait, wait 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 can we say that can we say that <laughs> well actually you know what maybe not maybe. all right how about this no, nothing on the line nothing on the line at all <laughs> just playing all right how about this if usd wins alex you gotta wear zane's jersey to a game day Zane, if DLSU wins, you gotta wear Alex jersey to a game day. How about that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I'll go with that. That's, that's like that's that's like a good balance, you know. Nothing, okay. nothing too harsh. For sure, for sure. All right, that sounds like fun. Okay. Loser that's... will be bald. Oh yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> they just got rid of that over here. I'm not going bald. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you guys lost a recruit last season because of that rule, interestingly enough. He's now at University of the East. I don't think Zane, you would have committed if you would have had to go bald, huh? You know, I we guess, guess, you, you I guess we'll never hair. know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They had, they had to cut their hair? Yeah, they did oh, last season. The past couple of years. Like, everyone managed it? Yes. I didn't All right. know that. Yeah. So, so interesting here. Basket BPH is like, how about 100 push-ups under two minutes? If I had to bet on one of Zane or Alex to do 100 push-ups before two minutes, who would do it first? All right. <laughs> good good comment by Celtics Manila. I thought the UAP office just killed the stream. <laughs> okay. Um, JP wants to know, has Alex shared his perspective about how things ended against Camden? Good question, JP. You want to share your uh, perspective on that, Alex? Those oh. For those of you who don't know, Alex's team was eliminated because of a mistake by a game yeah. official. They should have advanced, but the mistake in the game review led to the loss. It became a national controversy, right? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I, I went into it so many times. I don't, I, I'm trying to forget about it at this point, honestly, but... Um, that's, yeah, that's all right. I, was, I mean, totally understood. Crazy. This year one was... 
we we won that game the year before, and then we won it all. So you know, it, it's not like I, I haven't been there before. But you know, I, I thought, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the link right there. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, by the way, JP also works at UAP Media, so you guys will be seeing him at the games. JP, you've already made a great first impression with Alex, clearly. Uh, <laughs> now, Alex is a good dude, and JP's a good dude, dude too. Um, okay, good question from Tonyo. Thoughts on matching up versus UP, potentially the favorites coming into this season. Alex, I'll let you go first, and Zane, you can go next. I mean, you know, I'm excited to play them. You know, they're looked at as the favorites, so I think it'll be a good game. Really, every team is an underdog against them just because of how loaded they are. So, I mean, you really lose. There's, there's not much to lose. You know, you just kind of go out there and just play as hard as you can. Interesting. There's a good question here from I Love You Cooper Cup. That's a very interesting username. Is Alex going to spend some time at the three as a forward, or is it KQ going to be the three? I mean, Alex, have you talked to DLSU about? Because I know not playing as a five was important to you in your recruitment. So have you talked to DLSU about where they might slot you on the basketball court? I think it'll it, it'll it'll be like a toss up between like the three and the four. But a lot of like the plays we're running today, especially and like just seeing how the offense moves, it's pretty much positionless. So you know, either way, um, should be able to get off some threes. So. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, definitely looking forward to see you get off some threes. For those of you who don't know, Alex nailed, nailed I think, six or seven three-pointers in that semis matchup where he was on fire in that contest. So um, if the UAP had a three-point shootout, I think he would actually be one of the options to choose from. Let's see uh, if I miss any more questions here. Uh, by the way, guys, we have Zane and Alex for a few more minutes. So if you want to ask these two young superstars in the UAP, any question now is your opportunity to do so. And for those of you checking the station right now, tuning in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more episodes in the future. All right. For Alex and Zane, Denzil wants to know, would you rather throw it down against each other or break the ankles with crossover? This means guarding each other. Zane, would you rather poster dunk Alex or break his ankles? And Alex, same question for Zane. Let's go with you first, Zane. So what if I broke his ankles and then he got up and then I dumped on him? <laughs> okay, okay. I feel like you gotta take the best of both. All right. But if and... I had to if I have to pick one, if I had to pick one, I'd probably a poster. Who doesn't like a good old poster? For sure, for sure. How about you, Alex? Me, me personally. Here he goes, here he goes. I'm gonna just like I'm gonna just bust it down on, on Zane. But pause. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What? Oh no, hold on. I meant I meant like throw it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm saying so, like the ball. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask you both a question. Between the two of you, Sean Alter, Jacob Bela, and Jaden Jones, who has the most riz? Sean is dead last. Sean is last. <laughs> hey, Sean's in a committed relationship right now, guys. I mean, Sean is. And Jacob, and Jacob, Jacob and him are dead for last. hope. For like, like, by, by God, they are like, <laughs> like one of those. No. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm first. Okay. Okay. Zayn is. Uh, nah, Jaden Jones is number one for sure. Jaden Jones always getting rizzy. I see. I always, see. Yeah. And who's number two? Number two? We'll go 2A, 2B. 2A, 2B. And then five. And then it's just five. <laughs> okay. So one, 2A, 2B, and then five and five. And it's Jacob and Sean. We're both dead last. All right. Jacob, Sean, if you guys see this video, I'll need you both to comment and give your thoughts and see if you agree with the rankings of these two guys. Um, cool question here from JMGD. Is your friend Caleb Harris going to the UAAP? Do you guys uh, talk to Caleb often? Yeah, of course. I'm in contact with that guy almost every day. I'll let out that it was an option. Almost. Mm. When we found out about uh, when he had to, unfortunately, end up going JUCO. But now he's at JUCO. He's enjoying it. And uh, I know he's doing a lot better now. So I don't think we'll be seeing him within the next two years. But maybe after that, it's possible. 
Maybe. Got you, got you. Maybe, maybe a, he would be a great addition to the UAAP for sure. Okay, last call for questions, everybody, before I let these two uh, long-lost friends reunite yeah. and spend the night uh, catching up with each other, not doing the stuff that Fran Lu might want them to do. Um, let's see here. A question <laughs> from Dwayne. Uh, Alex, would you be down to do a TikTok with me if I see you around campus? Would you be down? Obviously, yeah. No, I'll, I mean... I can't dance that good. I mean, it has to be something that I know, or maybe if it's if it's that uh, Jared McCain TikTok dance that's been going viral right now, I'll do it. All right, awesome. Then Zeal says, "I'll see you soon, Alex, at the ninth floor." Uh, Fran says, "I don't want to make questions about the rough side of the basketball." The ba Fran, you're just setting yourself up for this, man. Come on, bro. Um, let's see. Ooh, best thing about the USD campus for Zane. JP wants to know. Oh, QPAV. You know, the gym. I love the gym. It's an arena. And um, that's the best part. You know, we got our AC going. I'm sorry. I just like... <laughs> Someone... <laughs> that's funny. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I just love the gym itself. But, um, you know, it's good. We have our food. We have, um, we have our weight room. But definitely the gym is my favorite part. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for the 99 pesos, Miles D. Appreciate you. Miles sent in 99 pesos to ask this question. So you guys have to answer. Who would win one and one between Zayn Mahmoud and Alex Konov? Miles D. Hear me out. All right. I want you to go to a bank. <laughs> Take out your life savings. Remove all your assets. Liquidate them. And put it on Zayn Mahmoud. And I promise you, you will be doubling your money. Broke. <laughs> You will be broke. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. If you'll be rich and thriving, trust me, you're good. Don't worry. So, Alex, I, I, I'm i guessing you disagree. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would be the score, Alex, if you played Zane one on one? And Zane, same question. What's the rules? Four dribbles max, winner's ball till 11. That's a close game, honestly. I said if we have a seven-game series, it's six or seven games, to be honest. I yeah, I'm saying uh, four-game sweep, yeah, 44 yeah. points straight. I don't know. I don't think so. 44 straight. I don't think so. Because you take this away, what is he doing? What is he doing after this? <laughs> you're, not, you're not taking that away from you with your T-Rex arms. <laughs> doing it right at home, you. T-Rex arms, man. You, you guys. Six, seven. He is not six, seven. Six, seven. T-Rex six, arms is, is, is crazy, bro. Um, okay, Zane's answering is hella hilarious. Denzel, I think Zane is top five most funny players in the UAAP already. Easily. <laughs> Easily. Not top five most unserious. <laughs> no, I'm locked in. Every day. Locked in. In the gym. Early. Yeah, JM locked. says at this point, these two should have their own podcast. You know what? I might have them do a players only podcast like under the Navs Effect Network. I think that would be fun. Then they can bring in uh, Sean and uh, Jacob every now and then just to shit on them, apparently. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Good question. Okay. I'll take three more questions, everybody, before we bring in Dave Ildefonso. Um, yes. So, actually, two more questions because Dave is ready to come in. Denzil wants to know, Alex, Zane, who are your early Final Four rankings in the UAAP? LaSalle, UP, FEU, um, USD. I agree. I'd say the same thing. Okay, interesting. I like that. Okay, one more question here. Uh, Tonyo, I believe, yes, in that order. Oh, this was asked by Luxurate earlier. Who is winning Rookie of the Year? So there are some good contenders here. Zayn Mahmoud, Alex Konov, Jacob Bela, Jaden Jones, Adam Nakai, Jared Bai. A lot of great rookie of the year candidates. BJ Pratt. BJ Pratt. BJ Pratt. BJ Pratt. Really? So you guys both think it's VJ Pratt? No, of course I think it's me. But Yeah, I'm going to say me, but like dark horse sleeper pick VJ Pratt. Zayn for MVP rookie of the year, Tonyo says. You think like that's you. possible, Zayn? I like you, Tony. Anything is possible. Anything, Anything is, is possible. possible. Anything is 